beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a new lipstick collection from Huda Beauty I think this is my first ever dedicated Huda video I'm pretty excited about it Huda Beauty has extended their power bullet matte lipstick line they have eight new shades in a throwbacks collection so these are all 90s inspired these are currently available. They're priced at 25 US dollars a piece. You can find them on the Huda website as well as from Sephora. Really, really into this packaging. I love the ombre look and the colors are sort of coordinated to the shade that's in the lipstick. So they're not all exactly the same outer packaging, same style, just the ombre color coordinates with the shade that's in the lipstick. I really like that. This is a heavy duty plastic. It feels very luxurious. The Huda Beauty name is imprinted on the outside. When you open up the tube inside where the lipstick actually comes out, that ombre shade carries on. So it's very luxurious. They could have just made this an all black bullet but they went that extra mile with the detail, really like that. I also love that the lids are magnetic. That is just so satisfying. Then when you twist up, the lipstick bullet itself has a very unique shape. It's all around just a very thoughtful design. Everything about this feels very custom. I do wanna point out that these lipsticks do have a bit of a scent to them. There's a little bit of fragrance. It's like a fruity pina colada type of scent. It's not super, super strong. It's not as intensely fragranced as something like a Too Faced product. But I do want to point that out. I know a lot of you are sensitive to fragrance in your makeup or you just generally don't prefer it. So these do have a little bit of a fruity, like pina colada type of scent to them. I really like it, but I always like to make you guys aware of things like that. The Throwbacks collection is broken up into four different shade categories and then each one of those has both a warm and a cool option. I think this is a really interesting way to break down the shades in a collection. So there are two that are pinky nudes, one's warm toned, one's cool toned, two natural pinks, two spiced browns, and then two 90s browns. It's a really thoughtful way to curate a collection of shades. I just really am impressed by all the detail in this collection. This throwbacks collection is my first ever experience with the Power Bullet matte lipsticks and I really like the formula. As somebody who has dry skin and dry lips, mattes can be very tricky for me. As you can see on my lips right now, I'm wearing one of the shades and it's not a super flat like chalkboard type of matte. It has a creaminess to it on application. It still retains a little bit of like a satiny shine on the lips. These aren't super, super matte, like a MAC retro matte lipstick. These are a very comfort matte type of feel. I do find them all to be very opaque. Some of the deeper shades, particularly the browns, needed a little bit of evening out. So a couple of swipes to get a full like even coverage on the lips but overall the opacity the comfort the application everything is just very very impressive with these power bullet mattes i'm gonna go ahead and show you lip swatches of all eight shades and i've kind of already given you my thoughts but i'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end after the lip swatches
I do like to show you a swatch on my arm of all the shades side by side. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell the differences between the shades when you're just looking at one lip swatch and then the next. So here are all eight shades side by side. That way you can really compare and contrast them. That always helps me out in addition to lip swatches. Overall, you can probably already tell from the beginning of this video that I am a fan of this formula. Packaging formula, it's all just spot on for me. My main criticism here is that the two light pinky shades, the pinky nude shades, Girls Trip and Prom Night, ended up looking pretty similar to me. I didn't notice a lot of difference in the undertone. I do wish that instead of those two really similar light pinky shades, they had gone really deep grungy, like a 90s grunge type of look and offered two super vampy shades. My absolute favorite shade from this collection is the one that I've been wearing throughout the talking portions of the video. It's this gorgeous warm medium nude, no one's surprised by that, I love a warm medium nude called First Kiss, I love this one. It reminds me of a matte version of my favorite MAC lipstick shade called Smoked Almond. So this is by far my favorite. But overall, I think that there's something for everyone in this collection of shades for different skin tones, for different styles. So I think they did a really good job on that. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you guys think about this collection. Have you tried these Power Bullet matte lipsticks? Are you interested in this Throwbacks collection? Which shade is your favorite? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too. So make sure you leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Or what is it called? Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. It's good to know the name of a product before you film the video. <laughs> Just looked at it, still got it wrong. Editing Amanda, if you're listening, Take note. Halfway done. Killing it. If you're wondering why there are no lip swatches in my NARS holiday video, this is why. <laughs> two left, two left, you can do it. Sometimes you have to pep talk yourself through lip swatches, especially when they're matte. This is Dirty 30. Oh, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote, folks. Oh. Lip balm after doing lip swatches is like taking your bra off at the end of the day after you get home from work. I know you know what I mean. Unless you don't. <laughs> and then never mind. Okay, moving on. I don't think I had enough caffeine today. I had one less coffee than usual and I'm feeling it now. <laughs> what is she even talking about? I should have done like a frosty eyeshadow, just like a baby blue silver, like solid block of frosty eyeshadow for a 90s look. Oh, I didn't really wear a lot of makeup in the 90s. Just lip smacker. I'm really stepping up my game. Well, okay.